This is the information they don't want you to see. Other players are not going to tell you this. Are you an older player? Sick and tired of getting hammered? Good, follow me. Let's get started. As an older player, your reflexes are not going to be great. Your eyesight is not going to be great. Your hand-eye coordination is not going to be great. What if I told you you no longer have to rely on your reflexes? When it comes to objects, there's a few things you need to understand. Any single object is much better than fighting any younger player out in the open. Their reflexes and accuracy is faster, you're gonna lose. Now, behind this object, I'm demonstrating what you don't need to do. I'm using a lot of spins and a lot of movement. If the other player is a good player, then they're gonna read the map. But the reason why this clip is wrong, if you're behind an object, how many spins does the map tell your opponent that you're doing? None, so why waste the energy? For older players, position yourself, corner paint. Regardless to how accurate they are, how fast they are, they're gonna lose. So take the object, use the corner paint, wait them out. Remember, you can't lose unless you run out. So why not just sit behind the object and let them make their own mistakes? At some point, they're gonna get impatient. They're either gonna leave the session or you're forcing their own mistakes. By law of average, the younger player should win every single time. Already demanding undisputed the thing that worked was waiting on the play. When I come up to an object, I just circle and wait patiently. Then every single mistake from the younger player was punished. Running out recklessly is for younger players, it's not for me. The only time I run out is when I've got a fixed combination in mind. A lot of reckless players are using something called a slow lag. That's why they run out in the first place. People don't always appear on the map, but when they do, you must use it to your advantage. The sniper, maybe he's using slow and steady or something like that, try using this move instead. Providing there's no players around you that can actually kill you or shoot you in the back, using a fixed combination um, instead of just going left, right, left, right, that's what the sniper's used to seeing and predict what way you're going to go. But by mixing things up, they're not going to be able to predict what way you're actually going. If anyone doubts that this actually worked, I can guarantee you it works. At least 90% of the time when I'm using it, I don't get caught. Instead of just moving left then right, try moving right then right then left then left. There's no way the sniper's going to keep up with what you're doing. It doesn't matter what card they're using, slippery, focus, fire, slow and steady. If you close the distance to mid to close range, they can't do anything. PIB is superior. It's for you to win the fight at this range. This is the only combination you actually need to know. Doing this move was actually formulated in a box, um, playing against a lot of younger players, getting them to actually um, take the bait by flicking LT and then simply spinning, standing up and then shooting. They're out of position. You're going to beat them nine times out of ten. It doesn't matter how fast they are. If you run this in a combination, you're going to win every single time. Remember, all the players around you deserves to be here. It wasn't given, it was taken. So rise up and show me your skill. Just flick on the LT or the L2 button. Spin, stand up, shoot. The second you flick the L2 button, they're going to aim and start shooting at you. By spinning and standing up, they're going to miss you. And then just sucker punch that fucker in the face. Now, the reaction time of younger players is so much faster. You need to find a way of baiting them into aiming at you. If you both aim at the same time, you're going to lose. Now, anyone's gamer tag that you see in these videos, don't take it personally. We're trying to train older players. If it works, let them use it. It's down to you as a faster player to get the better of them.
one shot and my hat's come off. Fucking hell, that took me 11 shots. How many chances you want, you pussy? Here we go. One, two, three. Four. He's dead. He's not dead, he's still alive. Playing smart means making sacrifices. You don't want to allow someone with faster reflexes to get close to you. Have you noticed how I allow the shit players to get slaughtered? I shoot from the back and use them as a human shield, pub stomping. I think you need to take advantage of every opportunity you get without actually cheating. Allow the faster players to get caught up looking on someone else. If you can hit them from the side, hit them from the side, you have to create a better angle. Since we've got a lot more faster players on our team, I'd prefer to stand behind them and just assist them. And if I am in a situation where I need to respond, I'm going to use what I know to fight back. Allowing the younger players on your team to go first and standing just behind them, creating the best angle that you can, increases your chances for a better kill to death ratio. This player has faster reflexes than me, and is definitely sharper than me, not to mention a lot younger than me. In that regard, I'd consider them better than me. I know they're going to come back, I know they want to fight me, so I need to create a better angle and I need to trick them. So now I'm the one that appears better than what they are. You can see here, I'm keeping the line behind the other players. There's no need for me to get into a gunfight with this player not when I can just pick them off from the back. In an ideal world, we all want to be the hero, we all want to be the MVP, we all want to win matches. We need to pick our moments because that's not always going to happen. The undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world! <laughs> that was a good match, that was a good match. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, what type of tricks do you use and the type of tactics you currently put into place. I'm going to speak directly to every single posse leader. Why is it that older players make better posse leaders? They're much less likely to run out into a battle that is absolutely pointless. They're less likely to be impulsive and have everyone get completely slaughtered for no cause whatsoever. Younger players have a tendency to become more impulsive and to rush into battles. You're older and you're wiser. You're much more likely to make the best decision unless you're an alcoholic. If you're trying to start your own posse, remember one thing. People will only follow you if you stand for something. If you stand for nothing and you don't have a vision, you have no room to grow and the people around you have no room to grow. If you have two or more players within your posse that are cheating, you need to ask yourself what you stand for. Do you want a reputation for being a bunch of cheaters? It's not the soldiers themselves, it's the leaders that make the decisions to keep people within the posse. There's no such thing as a bad follower, just a bad leader. One of the biggest things that's essential for being a posse leader is knowledge. I've seen a lot of people chucking things out on YouTube as of late, they're getting the information wrong and then they're dealing with the backlash. You can find all the knowledge that you need in these videos. So try to stay on top of the information that you receive and make sure it's correct. Right, let's fuck up this player. One hat shot. I'm just gonna sit here till he does something different. That's two hat shots. And you got my hat. I'm allowed one pick up. That's it. Three hat shots. Four hat shots. I actually feel sorry for these types of players. You want to reattach it ten times? I just want to show people how stupid you look. Five hat shots. Boring. Listen, reattach it. Give yourself an extra life. No worries. Listen, bro, you're wasting your own time. I'm nice. What is this pussy doing? Six headshots. Fuck. My. Life. Any minute now, I'm gonna shoot your face off. As soon as he changes his position. This is worse punishment than waiting for a nuke to hit your own country.
which we kind of deserve, to be honest. Come on, show yourself. Oh man, I'm not even going to waste my energy. Oh, there he is. Ouch. Justify that to your friends, bitch. Indie Phoenix, it's time. I'm in your DMs. Let's do this. You abide by the rules of our private sessions and show us your skills. Guys, we're going to be back in part two. We're going to be back in Cheaters Exposed. I've been Destiny Shoots and this is video number 65. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.